So this is Seagate Skyhawk Surveillance Drives, tuned for writing or reading with an image perfect. perfect algorithm to make recording DVR footage to this drive. Multiple streams, amazing. Now I have done some tests, okay? I've done some serious tests comparing them to an Iron Wolf drive. And I'll be honest with you, they performed exactly the same. Okay, in this test, we're gonna transfer simultaneous video files five at a time and see how fast the drives perform. All right, so in this test, I'm gonna be testing writing and reading at the same time. Tested it in various different ways and they performed exactly the same, same read write speeds, supporting multiple files, all that kind of stuff, write speeds, all the stuff is exactly the same. The one thing I'd say to note is I am using a brand new drive over here and maybe an older drive or maybe a more filled up drive will perform slightly different, but out of the box, they do perform exactly the same. But there are some advantages to this fella over the Ironwolf drives. For example, these Ironwolf and Skyhawk drives, they're rated to run fine with temperatures up to 70 degrees Celsius. All right. But these Ironwolf drives only support up to eight bay NASes. So four bay NASes, eight bay NASes, great. But anything above that, they're a no-go. Well, they're not recommended because they don't have the technology to support it. However, these Skyhawk drives are rated to go into bays of up to 16. So if you need a large array, these guys will slot in and they'll perform fine. And what's interesting is the Pro versions of these drives, the Ironwolf Pro, only supports temperatures of up to 60 degrees. So if you're in that rare case where, I guess everyone who has that many drives is in that rare case where they have high temperatures, then this guy will support 16 at 70 degrees Celsius. There you go. That is why you probably want a Skyhawk. But at the moment, Skyhawk drives, their maximum terabytes are 10. In order to get more than that, you need the Skyhawk AI or an Iron Wolf drive to go there. So, hope you enjoyed that breakdown, performance and testing of these two drives. Pretty much exactly the same in my tests. Maybe your tests may be different if they were more filled up or you had older drives. But in my tests, they run exactly the same. But if you want more bays, and higher temperature rating, then the Skyhawk drives are better than an Iron Wolf. All right, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I hope you guys enjoyed the show.